In today's episode, we're taking a look at the critters in the 10 gallon tank builds. Now, if you've been following this series, you know that we are using Tampa Bay Saltwater Live Rock and Live Sand on both of these 10 gallon tank builds. And once we got the tanks set up with a hang on the back filter and a nice LED reef tank light from Hyger, it was time to add a fish to the system. So at what part of the process do you add fish to the aquarium once you put in the live rock the live sand and you got that cycle going where it's converting the ammonia to nitrite to nitrate at this point in the build it's been about three weeks so three weeks later from the initial setup we went to the fish store so we're at the marine aquarium warehouse here in tampa we're gonna pick up some fish maybe a shrimp or something for the 10 gallon tank builds let's go inside now the marine warehouse in Tampa has a great selection and they have a pretty large selection of fish and coral. Oh, that's a cool little black box fish right there. Now the game plan for that day was to pick up a couple fish, maybe a shrimp for these two 10 gallon tanks. I was thinking that we would add a clownfish to the aquarium, but these are the kids tanks. So I let them decide. My son decided that he didn't want a fish in his aquarium, so he chose a cleaner shrimp. This is a great addition, especially early on in the beginning of setting up a new tank, establishing a cleanup crew, and just adding animals that are gonna do work in your system. So he made a great choice, and this cleaner shrimp right here did not wanna get caught. He's showing off his speed. They're super quick. It always amazes me how fast they can dart around when you're trying to catch them and net them up. But in the end, they eventually got him, put him in the bag so we could bring him home. Then my daughter, instead of getting a clownfish, decided to go with another type of fish, the pajama cardinal fish, which is a great choice. Now this fish, if it's small, can hang out in a small tank like the 10 gallon build, and they will get a little bit bigger. In my opinion, I think is a great choice. It's a nice peaceful fish. All right, so here's the pajama cardinal and we are gonna use some safety stop to rapidly fish quarantine this guy before he goes in the 10 gallon tank now if you've never heard of safety stop it is a rapid fish quarantine that i've been using for a while there's two different parts to it a part a and a part b and you pour that in two separate buckets for your fish and they go through a process of 45 minutes in each part and that kind of helps take care of anything as a preventative before adding them to your tank. So while the pajama cardinal was hanging out in his preventative bath, it was time to add the shrimp to the other 10 gallon tank. All right, so he's got his shrimp and is ready to go in. You need the net. Let's go find the fish net. We gotta get the net. We're rolling. We're gonna pour this water out. We absolutely do not want this water in here. All right, he's out of the water. If you can grab him, look, grab get him. him. Grab him. All right, him. so we got your shrimp there, bud. Just get him. Put him right in. Put him right in. Put him right in. Put him, right Put him, in. him right in. There he goes. Whoa. <laughs> he can swim. Yeah, they can swim. Oh, they can he's swim on the heater him. now. He's on the heater too. He's <laughs> 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 moving. Look at. Look at his crab. He's his crab's just down there too. Filming yeah. his hand. He's just doing this. Let me see. He's doing that. Yeah. This <laughs> crab is doing. Oh my goodness. All right. Let me see him. Let me see him. Oh, oh, they're meeting. It's gonna fight. It's gonna fight. They see each other. Uh oh. Huh. So after that, we added the pajama cardinal to his new home in the other 10 gallon tank. Very cool. All right, let's give him some time to adjust and swim around and hopefully he does well. And then it was time to take a look around at the tank, enjoy it, and we started to make discoveries right away. So here you can see some of that macroalgae, um, Florida calerpa, I think that is. And then you also have the sponges that came in on the rocks and some of the patterns and shapes of these sponges is just really, really cool. But with this second package of premium live rock, you are getting a lot of things that are gonna benefit and help filter and just do a lot of good for your aquarium, especially in the beginning. Um, you're getting rock that has life already on it. There's already so much life going on in the tank. Look at this yellow sponge right here. Hermit crab up there. 
What's really neat about the sponges in here, like look at this sponge right here. This is one of my favorite sponges in the tank. I will have to look up the name of this and get back to you, but this orange sponge right here, the pattern that it's growing out is just really cool looking. Now, in this aquarium, after putting the rocks in from the second package, you can see the aquascape that we have right here. And there's a lot of sponges. You still have the macro algaes going. There are sponges in this tank, uh, like orange sponges in this tank as well. And there is a decorator crab in both of the tanks. Um, he's pulled some of the sponge, the white sponge off and decorated himself with it. And also we put the porcelain crab in this tank and I want to say he hangs out in this cave and a nice little orange sponge in there. The Calerpa is really taken off. I'm going to have to get in there and cut some of that out. There's a lot of really interesting critters in these tanks. Right down here is a fuzzy looking crab. I know there's some decorator crabs going on in this tank. There's also that porcelain crab. But just look at this guy right here if the camera will focus on him. Now the first few weeks there was a Florida scallop in here and he was burrowing under the sand bed and everything and moving around the tank. And then this crab popped out and just started eating him. So this guy's gone, this crab is the winner. There's also an odd member of the cleanup crew in here called an abalone, I believe, and they are really cool looking. All right, so in this tank, there's a lot of really cool things going on in here. We got a crab right back in there and he's really not bothering anything. He's just really neat, he's pretty big. And if he does end up bothering something, he should be pretty easy to remove. You can see him just attaching himself onto the pointer right there. So I could probably just lift him up and out if I needed to get him out. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about him right now. Um, it's just really cool to see the things that are going on in the tank, especially since we're not adding any corals to it right now. That'll be later on down the road. But there's a couple of those guys in there. There's a baby one that hangs out back here. And then of course we have the pajama cardinal in here hanging out, doing really well. Here's something maybe you guys can help me identify. I've not seen this before, but this thing right back here, I'll see if I can get it to focus. I'm pointing at, this thing moves around the tank and I'm not entirely sure what it is. That guy right there, it is alien beyond all belief. This thing is an alien creature living in this tiny aquarium. Let me know in the comments what you think it is or if you know exactly what it is, educate us in the comment section below. Like, hey, hey. You have star polyps in there that are doing really well. It's just awesome, man. I'm super excited. The kids are enjoying this tank. There's all kinds of things going on in the sand bed. And one very special discovery that we made early on when we first set the tank up. Let me, let me take you to that clip now. Now, you're not going to believe what's about to pop out of this rock. We were excited and a little surprised to see this in the aquarium but check out this guy right here. It was just the coolest thing to see. This cute little guy is a green mantis shrimp, super tiny right now, but I'm sure as he grows, he's gonna help take out some of the crabs that are in the tank. But as far as there being a ton of pests in the tank, the only thing I could say is we are taking things slow and we're observing what's going on in the aquarium. And if it's one of these crabs that I'm gonna have to remove later on, I'm pretty confident they are easily removed and I can get rid of them. But there are some pretty unique creatures in the ocean and it's just special to have some of them in this little aquarium. And this series is going to continue as we progress and start adding things to the tank. So you're gonna see any problems that occur and any successes that occur. So I hope you stick around to 
watch these episodes as they release. I don't know if it's coming across on video how excited I am about these tanks and just how excited the kids are about having their own aquariums in their rooms. So we're just having a great time with these tanks, enjoying all the critters and everything that come out of the live rock in these tanks. It's incredible what kind of life you get whenever you start a tank with live rock and live sand. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you like what you see, go ahead and click or tap your screen to watch this video here. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.